Hi, this is Tony, and we're back on the bench. And this evening, we're going to be doing another disassembly walkthrough service on this vintage Ted Williams Model 560 baitcaster reel here. So it's a nice little reel. It's good for uh, light tackle, fresh water trolling, I'd say, or for, you know, just some basic bottom fishing, perhaps, in a lake, or, you know, shore casting for bass, maybe, things like that. Uh, maybe a good little delta reel. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna get into it here, and we're gonna go through all these uh, take apart steps and talk a little bit about the cleaning. Um, I did mention walk through. That's basically my way of saying I've actually already serviced the reel recently, but I'm just going to walk you through all the steps. It makes for uh, quicker viewing that way when I've already worked on it. Because some of these reels, when they come to me or, or when I'm uh, getting into some of these projects, they, they're they quite dirty. Uh, they're, they're filthy, loaded with all kinds of old grease, and that really bogs down a lot of the recording time, so I don't really like to do that. But as you can see here, we're going to get into our handle and take that off first. So we've got a screw here. Okay, I like to lay out all these pieces and parts here. You see that this uh, snapped off here. I like to kind of lay them out like so. So I don't lose them on this towel here on the bench. All right, and I also like to make use of these trays as well. In this case, I like to lay these out real cleanly here so I can see the order that they, they went in when I go to put them back. But once again, this will just be for the disassembly. I will do a separate reassembly video, of course, on this separately so you can see there's quite a few pieces and parts involved here okay now we've got this big uh, this is actually a spring right it's a very interesting spring uh, but it's like a tension loader style spring all right and it's it also acts somewhat as a spacer so to speak okay so we've got these thumb screws here that we're going to take apart this is a level wind reel no two so, you know, if you have this reel, or if you're thinking of picking up this reel somewhere, you know, these are not made anymore, of course. Uh, but the interesting thing is, is this reel is actually made by Daiwa. Uh, this was a trade reel for Sears. Uh, you can see it says Sears Roebuck and Company down here, and then it actually says Made in Japan. Uh, but very similar to a, a, a Daiwa Millionaire uh, like the 5HS. I actually just recently did a comparison video on the two of them, kind of a preview, so to speak. Okay, so we've got this piece off. We've got our spool out right here. Okay, now when you get to this point, you have to make a decision on how thoroughly you're going to work on the reel. Okay, well, we like to be thorough uh, when we're doing uh, all this real work, okay? So what I like to do is I like to put that piece off to the side here, and then I'd like to get into uh, the, you know, the, the rest of the reel here so that we can see what's going on here, all right? So we've got three screws in these positions here that all need to come out, okay? Because you want to be able to get into this gear here on this side, Okay, so what I recommend you do is just take your time doing this, okay? And, you know, clearly this is a used reel, you know, it's got some missing paint and stuff like that, but it's actually in good shape considering its age. I don't know the date of this reel exactly. I'd have to do a little bit of homework. I want to say early 80s probably, late 70s at most, I'm guessing. Early 80s, I think, is probably a little bit more accurate. And he, they are nice reels, although I did find, uh, working on some of these trade reels, uh, the drag stacks are not quite as nice as the as the original uh, versions that, that, that Daiwa made. It's just one little thing to note, not quite as nice, okay? So now, you know, we've got our innards here all opened up. Okay, now one thing you can do here also is you can take apart uh, this, this knob here and just note that there is a, 
there's a, a couple of pieces in here. You've got this uh, this bushing cap here, and then there's also uh, a couple of thin uh, copper plates uh, that, that kind of rest inside there, okay? And you just want to make sure that you don't lose those pieces and parts, okay? And then your uh, ball bearing is right there, and you should be able to tap that out real gently, okay? And just kind of inspect it, look at it. All right, this bearing is not a serviceable bearing uh, from what I could tell. So you just have to do your best to clean it. You know, take a paper towel, clean it up the best that you can, okay? And then when you go to put it back, you know, we're going to hit that with a little bit of uh, real oil, okay? Like so, you know, when we go to put that cap back on, okay? But... Outside of that, there's not much more to do on that side, all right? And then here, all you need to do is clean these teeth off, okay? These plastic teeth, and that's really all you need to do. And you don't need to go to the extent to put a bunch of grease on these teeth, really. You can put a little bit if you want, but the main thing is this metal gear here, and that's the part that needs the grease, okay? And yeah, it's going to work its way into this, this gear as well. Okay, but it's just one little thing that you want to make note of. Okay, so now you've got this capture here, this locking mechanism, this bar, okay, that holds all these pieces and parts together, all right? And this is where it gets a little tricky. Take a little stubby screwdriver, and you can undo your, your screw housing for your paw, which you need to take out. It is a little, a little stiff on this reel, but take that out. And then you want to inspect your pawl. And this is what I mean by thorough is, you know, these are the things that you want to check, you know, when you're working on any fishing reel, really. Okay, so we've got our worm gear that comes out, level one worm gear. Okay, and then there's our Paul. Okay, it's a little difficult to see on camera, but you can see the shape that it's in here. Okay, it's not in too bad a shape, but it's not great either. Okay, it's definitely been worn, and so what you want to do is you just want to clean that up the very, very best that you can, and that's really all you can do with it. Just to, you know, take a, a toothbrush, you know, and just clean it up however you can. Okay, so that's that whole section of the reel there, basically. And what we're going to do is we're going to put all these pieces and parts off to the side here for now. Okay, save that for the reassembly portion. Okay, now... We have this side here. We've got two screws in these positions. So we're going to take out these two screws here. Put those screws in that tray there. I'm kind of sorting out most of these parts just here on the towel so that I know the order that they need to go back in, essentially. But when I get into cleaning and stuff like that, I like to get more stuff in these trays. Okay, so that comes apart like that. Nice, clean shell. Okay, same deal here. You've got a bearing here. You take this cap off. All right, you can poke that bearing out. All right, I'm not going to do that in this case on this side here. There is this plate uh, that, that goes on the outside, this pressure plate that kind of pushes up against the bearing. That just needs to be set in there like so, but you can clean out all those pieces and parts. And when I say clean, you get them out in, in these trays here, these parts trays, like we're talking about, and then you take some 
some penetrating fluid like this, some uh, CRC power lube or some WD-40, things like that. Hose all those pieces down really well. Okay, that's what you want to do. All right, now we're getting into our innards here. So we've got our main gear and a drag stack. Okay, and we've also got a dog. Okay, and all these pieces and parts basically just need to come out. Now this, as you can see, this whole assembly uh, comes out uh, together, you know, with uh, the drive shaft and whatnot, okay? But you just need to make sure that you don't lose these pieces and parts, okay? Make sure that they don't go flying away on you, okay? And sometimes these these drag washers can be a little tricky to take out, okay? So you've got that piece there, you've got a drag stack here, okay, and then you've also got these innards in here as well. You've got a, a pinion gear, okay, in here. Now, one might ask, how do you work on this? Okay, well, it's actually quite simple. There are some retainer rings that you can disassemble and snap out of here. But you know what? You don't really need to. All you need to do is put this in a small container, hose it all down with some penetrating fluid, take a toothbrush, and scrub, okay, gently, all these areas real gently through here and just clean it up the best you can. That's all you need to do. You don't need to go to the extent of disassembling all of this. This is really good machinery here uh, and it's good forethought. It's a good system. Okay, so no need to take that apart. All right, and then we're left with our drag stack. Okay, so we've got a, there's a spacer washer here. And then we've got a series of, of drag washers, and we're just going to take them out one by one so you can see what they all look like. We've actually got a leather uh, drag washer, a keyed washer, with another leather washer hiding underneath it. And I seem to recall I had to replace uh, one of these washers. Uh, with a, um, this is actually an HT100 uh, uh, washer out of a, I believe it's a, it's the size that'll fit uh, the pen monofills, I believe, and the Beachmaster 155, but it matches about the same size as these other drag washers here, because you can't get leather drag washers really that much anymore, at least not in good shape. Uh, so that's your drag stack there, okay, and then there is a uh, a hard fiber uh, washer hiding underneath the main gear. All right, and then you got your main gear. And once again, toothbrush, clean, penetrating oil, all these pieces and parts, basically. The dog, the shaft, clean all these things out. Take a Q-tip uh, to the inside of the, the housing of the shaft there. All these things. Clean them up the best that you can. Even with the spool, take some 4 steel wool, uh, and clean this shaft up really good, all right? The the teeth here on the gear, all that needs to be cleaned up, all right? And then once you do that, then you're ready for reassembly. So, thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please do subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button, and we'll see you next time.